I recently picked up this Optiplex 3020 for only $25 from Craigslist. Uh, I actually got two of them for $25 each. Uh, this one's got an i5-4590 and came with four gigs of RAM, no hard drive. In this video, I'm gonna do some upgrades and see what kind of performance I can get using as little money as possible. So I picked up two eight gig sticks of RAM from eBay for a total of 16 gigs. Cost me $23. Uh, Micro Center has recently had a really good deal on a 512 gigabyte SSD for only $20. Uh, this isn't the best SSD in the world, but it'll be fine for this build. And finally, I recently got this super cheap graphics card for $15. This is the Radeon 8570. It's only got one gig of GDDR3. Uh, now I could put in a GT GT1030, uh, an RX 550, or the new RX 6400, but I wanted to do this super cheap and see what kind of games I could play on this for as little money as possible. I might do a follow-up video where I add in an RX 550 or the new RX 6400, um, but that'll be further down the line. So the total amount I spent on this was $83. So I'm gonna put all these in um, and see what kind of games we could play on this. Okay, so I installed Windows 10 and got some games installed. Uh, first, I'm gonna run Geekbench and see what kind of results we get from it. All right, so we got 924 for the single core and 3133 for the multi-core. All right, first up is Stumble Guys, which is basically a clone of Fall Guys. This is a super easy game to run, so no problems here. All right, next up is Fortnite. Uh, mostly everything is low settings, maxed out at 60 frames per second. Let's take a look. So this isn't as bad as I thought it would be. It's not great, but I am able to play a match and it is hard to see in the distance though, for sure. And next up is Forza Horizon 5. Um, as you can see, I'm already getting a low video memory um, message. And uh, yeah, it's just not really playable at all. All right, next up is Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. Uh, low settings, 720p. Uh, not too bad, not too great either. All right, next up, we're gonna try some emulation with PPSSPP, uh, the PSP emulator.
I have a USB drive with Badasara installed with almost 7,000 games on it. I rebooted from that USB drive and I'll try a few games out here. The lower end systems isn't going to be a problem at all on this. Here's uh, some Aladdin on the Sega Genesis. All right, now we're going to step it up to some PS2. Alright, and finally I'm going to try out some Nintendo Wii games. So this can do some very light PC gaming and is awesome for emulation. Remember this only cost me a total of $83. If you want me to try out some more PC gaming with a different low profile graphics card, let me know in the comments below. Uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching everyone.